here's how you create a motion tween using Photoshop's timeline. First off, select your fighter jet and move it off screen. I'm pressing the shift key and the right arrow and make sure that show transform controls is turned on. I'll then add a frame. On frame 2, which you just added, close this so you can see a little better. I'm going to press shift and the, well hold on a second, yes press shift to so make sure that fighter jet is selected, you have to select the layer sometimes. Pull down shift and the right arrow and move this over. When you move things off screen you can't select them anymore as you can see as I click right here. So that's why I use the shift key. If I want to select them again I just highlight them in the layer panel. Layer 1, it's over here. Layer 2, it's over here. Warning here, don't click the corner and go into transform mode and then move the object. That'll move it on all the frames. So beware of that. You just move it, don't go into transform mode. Now, since it's over here on frame 1 and over there on frame 2, I'll select both frames by holding shift, hold shift, and select frame the other frame you want to select and click the tween button. And I'm going to dial in 10 frames. Again, that's 10 frames. That was off screen, but now you can see it. Press OK. And as you can see, that's 10 frames. Now, this animation was set to 0.1 second per frame. If I wanted to alter all these at once, I'd hold down Shift, select number 1, all the way to number 2, and then change this to no delay or whatever I want. But I'm all set, except on the last frame I will pause it for five seconds, why not? So I'll select that last frame, pause it for five seconds, and then hit play. And there we have it, between the animation. In addition to moving the object, you could also lower the opacity on, the, on frame one, and then take it back to 100% on frame two and create a tween and you would see the opacity change as well as movement.